Hello and welcome to my channel. Do you have a problem with your vehicle stalling or sometimes it just will not start? Well, in this video segment, I'm going to show you how to replace the IPR valve in your vehicle. If you're not a subscriber, just hit that button become a subscriber right away. So let's begin. But the first thing we're going to do, we're going to disconnect the WIF sensor, which is the water and fuel breakout connector. And there's a clip right here. I'm going to press that in and pull it straight out. Next, we're going to disconnect the support clamp for the WIF, which is right here. Just disconnect that. There's an open area right here. Next we're going to disconnect the bell hook which is right here. Just gonna pull it back. There are two IPR files two that you can actually use and one is going to be for the 90 degree which is a popular tool which is this tool here and again it's for the IPR with the 90 degree connector now this is a pretty popular tool here you can also use this tool for forward 6, 6.0 and you can get this mostly anywhere now the tool that we actually need we need a tool for the IPR with the straight fitting, which is this, this part here. And that tool, this is the part number. Now that tool is very difficult to find. I don't know what the status is. I don't know if it's on back order or just discontinued. But I'm gonna show you how you can work around that. And hey, time to visit your local hardware store. I'm just shop on the internet for a 35 millimeter. And this too, that wrench will be a lot cheaper than buying that special tool that you probably only gonna use one time. So I'm going to actually cut this right along here. I'm gonna use a grinder with a cutting wheel. Ear plugs. And I'm gonna protect my hands. I took off the latex gloves and just want to make sure I have some good gloves to protect my, my hands. And of course, safety glasses. Make sure you're always wearing that when you're grinding or cutting. Just going to grind down the edges. You can use the box in and actually just tip it over, bring it in. You can break it loose that way. Take a hammer, just tap it loose. want you to know you will have a little oil leak so just want to let you know unless you prepare to put in your new IPR if not just put a drain pan underneath out with the old in with the new now before we install the IPR I've been having a problem of sometime they the vehicle will start and sometimes it will not. This harness, I notice if yours will not start, just shake this harness. And if it start, you may want to consider replacing this harness. Here's the harness. Here's the price range, part number. And I would definitely recommend to replace this harness if you have any issues with your IPR being a problem of not starting. I'm going to cut loose the tie strap. 
have all the ties straps right. removed. Just gonna remove the wire loom. I'm gonna do one wire at a time just to keep from crossing up the wires. Just to be on the same. Next, we're gonna use a bulb connector, heat shrink. took time to actually put on new wire loom, tie strap the wire loom in place just like Navistar had it, and I put electrical tape between the cover and the wire loom. Now we're ready to install our IPR valve. I'm going to use my open end wrench and I can just turn it. Flip it over. I'm going to use my box in to actually tighten it down. And I want you to know the torque for the IPR valve is going to be 37 foot pounds. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that because we don't have the tool that is required to actually tighten it down. With that tool, you can actually do it. So hopefully you know what 37 foot pounds feel like. I feel like that's tight enough. Then we're gonna put a tie strap back here. Cut off our end. We wanna place back our water and fuel connector and let's not forget to put back on our support clamp now this is the tricky part you got to turn this magnetic core inward that's clockwise to get this connector at six o'clock you want it to be straight down and that's how it's supposed to be you cannot have it at any other position just take your time, turn it inward, and make sure your connector is at six o'clock. Then we're gonna put on our harness. We have a brand new IPR valve with a new harness. Let's start the vehicle. That's all you have to do to replace your IPR valve in your international truck. And now you have a peace of mind. I hope this video was helpful. Do not forget to subscribe. Take care and God bless.